to extend their best start in conference in seven years. I'm Andrew Masuda, and this is sports. The Cal Poly men return home as the surprise team in the Big West, picked to finish last in the preseason poll. Joe Claro's men are 3-2 and two in conference and tied for third place tonight. They host last place UC Riverside. First half action, Lorenzo Keeler has it. He drives in and floats it home. Polly up by three. Then the Mustangs start throwing up the threes. First, Sean Lewis has room, so he drains a triple for the Mustangs. A bit later, Justin Brown has it. Drives to the hoop, kicks it back out to a wide open David Hanson. He hits from downtown. Mustangs led by as many as 11 in the first half and led by four at halftime. Let's go to the second half now. Jordan Lewis has it, drives baseline and finishes nicely with the reverse layup. Cal Poly up by six. Then it's Hanson working it inside, misses, gets the rebound and puts it back in plus the foul. But the game goes back and forth. So it's tied at 65 with 5.6 seconds left to play. Mustangs have the ball inbound. It's Sean Lewis. He slips, throws up a desperation three. He misses, but he's fouled. So that means he has three free throws with 1.9 seconds left to play in a tie game. And the junior sinks two out of three, and that is the difference. Mustangs win a thriller 67-65. Lewis has a team-high 16 points, none bigger, though, than the game-winning free throws. Just count my boys, and I know I have to make it, make at least two, so they want to, so we want to go into overtime. So it's so great. We're confident now. We're not just the underdogs anymore. I mean, we don't believe that anymore either. Now David Hansen finished with 15 points himself. Cal Poly improves to four and two in Big West play and is now tied for second with rival UCSB. They already have one more win in conference and at home than all of last year. And the Mustangs host Northridge on Saturday night.